now we will create a simple api in ibm api connect i have logged into ibm cloud now i'll go to drafts here here there is option products and apis click on api tab click add new api here i'll give the name simple api 1 here it is the name it taking automatically and the base path you can change this base path if you want i'll take it as 1 and the version is 1.0.0 .0. now i'll click on create api now you can see uh, we have the option here to set up this api info scheme host and all other details here now we will add the paths here and if there is any security definitions here we'll delete it now will not add any security thing for this api now i'll add the path here first path is i'll have some resource we'll add get customer details get customer details for this path we'll add the operations so one operation got added automatically the get operation will keep that get operation for this get operation we can pass the ids add parameter i'll i'll pass some id here add in a query parameter it can be in header form data body or path now we can add it in query or header now i chosen query and it can be mandatory or optional if i click here it is a mandatory field now the response uh, 200 okay if you want you can add other responses 401 201 other error responses now um, here it consumes use this you have consume times and use api produce step that one regarding this one consumes here it consumes json and accept json so this values it taking here for this get operation so now you need to change it here if you want to separately you can uncheck this and select like this uncheck this and if you want some other like xml or uh, other format you can add like this save this now it's saved api is saved now once it's done api is created now you have to deploy it to the runtime environment so for that you need to create a product i'll go to the product here add new product the product name is simple product one here create product now in the product we'll add the apis here we have created that one we'll add it now so here this one i'm clicking it simple api one i'm adding it to this product it's a package kind of now i'm saving this product you can add multiple apis here at once you can deploy this there is option here at right right corner see click on this and it'll ask for which environment sandbox or uat we have this different if you have multiple it show the multiple runtime environment i'll click on sandbox now now you can see this has been staged in sandbox it's not in a published state so we have to go to this uh, sandbox and we make it published so then only it will available to the public so here i'll click on this and publish now there is option here we can make it public or authenticated user only can access now i make it public anybody opening this developer portal this organization developer portal can access that api now publish it now once i publish i'll go to the developer portal here and open that click on this developer portal now api products currently there is no products here now this is published now let's refresh this again api products now you can see simple product is published now you can click on this and we can test this api in our developer portal anybody can access this who has having this url simple api so here if you click on that the operations defined in this api is shown so we defined only one operation get operation on the resource get customer details so here it accept this json message and the id parameters required it is a mandatory field id so it acts it, we are passing it as a query parameters at the right side we can try this out here so here it is a try this operation this is the endpoint here if you see this 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 until this point this is the 
this sandbox endpoint after that the base path starts v1 then actual resource here so for this we are hitting this passing the id one two three it will read anyone now before that we have not configured the which endpoint it hitting now at the back end so back end we can give any endpoint that will working so we'll go back to the api now here if i give it call operation you can see now the error is internal server backside url invalid so backside means backend url so through this api we are calling the external service so that is not defined here you can go back to this api we'll add some uh, backend url in here open this and if you go to the assemble here so here it's shown invoke see invoke it is invoking some url so it is not defined it's target url not defined we can delete this and add the url here i'll add on simple api here stps stps api dot github github dot com slash gen it will give some random text here just to show how it work works this api now i'm saving this part save this once it's saved you have to deploy it again now go back to the products open this product is already added this api now it's updated now deploy it again to the sandbox now it's in stage state again in sandbox go to the sandbox again sandbox here publish publish now now go to the developer portal again refresh the page uh, simple product simple api here get the operation so now we will pass some ids here one two three four and call now we get the 200 success response so it is a detail from that api call this one it's not fully shipped until it's passed whatever random number it random text it generates and send it back so for testing purpose how this api works how backend is called from this api so we have used some simple backend url here using github okay this this is uh this this way we can create an api in ibm api account we haven't done any security setup other details only we created the uh, one get operation for this api and passed one query parameter that is just we are passing it we are not utilizing anywhere this uh, in the api so then once it hits the back end it gives the result like this this completes creating an api and deploying into sandbox environment